Hello everyone and welcome to another Vacuum of the Month video. If you tuned in on Monday to see what I was hoping to use as Vacuum of the Month, you may remember it went a little bit wrong because this Vax Edge did not have the advertised two batteries inside the box. I initially contacted Vax who said send it back to the retailer. I said I don't want to send it back I just want the batteries and then I asked I can I speak to someone higher up in authority you know I didn't say can I speak to the manager I just said can I speak to someone without with some more authority and the person said oh no we can't blah blah so I made a bit of a fuss on my social media Vax contacted me via Instagram and I explained, look, I just want the batteries. And there was a lot of toing and froing, and they wanted, they wanted um, to talk to me in person. Well, you can't talk to me in person over the phone, but I think they wanted to talk to me on the phone. Anyway, I decided I've had enough of this. So I tried very. I'd had this way longer than the approvals period, but I rang up very. It was a, a foreign-based call centre at the chap on the other end of the phone was quite use uh, well not useful helpful um although i had to uh, spell out quite a lot of words when i was giving him my address for collection so very have kindly accepted this return back it's all packed back up how i found it and it will be collected tomorrow so goodbye vax um sayonara to vax as a brand it's unlikely you'll see new vax machines on my channel for quite some time so this is going and good riddance now this also featured in vacuum of the month i i picked up all the dirt from henry quick the month worth of dirt henry quick cleaned up i showed all that and i cleaned it all up with this huge maytag wind tunnel i thought i was going to use this as vacuum of the month and it would have been very good for carpet cleaning i wouldn't use it on floors and not so good for above floor it does have an attached hose but very short it's not stair cleaning a couple of wands and it also has three small tools inside so i use this again i'm at my mother's, my mother's house still so i have used this on some of my mother's carpets and yeah i'm sure it's done a really good job but my ears were ringing and I'm thinking, I'm not going to take this home and use it. It's just too noisy. So it was back up into my mum's loft to select another vacuum of the month. And I'll just explain why I've chosen the vacuum I'm about, about to show you. It was mainly because it was one of the easiest ones to get. I probably would have wanted to use a different one. I had some other ideas, but it meant moving an, an awful lot of boxes to get to them. So this particular vacuum I'm going to bring in, I want to use it anyway, it's a good vacuum, but it is mainly because it was near the front, I only had to move a couple of boxes and I thought, I'll use that, it's got to be better than that Vax cordless thing anyway. So let's bring it in. Yes, folks, I'm going vintage for November with this Miele Automatic S240i Air Clean Vacuum Cleaner. I have unboxed this on my channel. This is new in the box. It was vintage machine. I think it's an 80s, pretty sure it's an early 80s machine. I always remember seeing this in a magazine advert and I thought, oh, that's really nice. I'd like one of those. But Miele, especially in the 80s, were way more expensive than Hoover or Electrolux cleaners. And it was only the very posh people that could afford a Miele washing machine or vacuum cleaner, tumble dryer, dishwasher. Only the very poshest of the posh would have a Miele in the 80s. So it was way beyond my pocket money. But I always like this shape. This is so 
so 80s the shape of it the color of it the sound of it and i thought i'll use it because life is short folks what is the point in having new in the box vacuums that stay new in the box i'm going to look after it while i'm using it i'm not going to batter it about this machine after a month of use will still look brand new but i thought why not use it you know so that's what I'm going to do. For any of you who haven't seen that unboxing video, I'll just take you through this cleaner. Um, I've also got a turbo head. It doesn't quite match. It's a different sort of gray color. It's an odd sort of gray. It's got a bit of brown in it, but this is a turbo head. So I'm going to see if this is better on the carpet than the supplied nozzle. I think, I don't know if it's a Vesselwerk. It might, I think it is a Vesselwerk design. We've got the uh, exposed fan blades there that drive the brush roll. Oh, it's got, oh, it's got 88 on it. Oh, is it? No, is that the, is it as late as 88? Possibly. The vacuum might not be as late as 88. I'm not sure if I can date this Miele. I'll have to have a closer look. Yeah, so there's the, uh, Miele Turbo and it does have an adjustable dial. Can't remember which does which. I'll have to try both out. On my uh, plush pile carpet at home, I will probably have to adjust it to whichever setting works best. She's a lovely, sleek, modern looking vacuum cleaner. Well, she was in the 1980s. I can just imagine this being sold in Harrods, Selfridges or other high-end department stores in London because Miele were not as widely available as they are now certainly not as widely available as Hoover and Electrolux back in the day you could only really find Miele's in department stores or independent retailers you would very rarely see them in what they call in America big box stores chain stores Curry's didn't stock them Rumbelow's didn't stock them I don't think even the electricity board stopped them. And then eventually Miele products did start becoming available in more and more places. Certainly towards the late 80s, early 90s, they started, even Argos used to sell them and, and certain mail order catalogues. But um, they weren't as widely available. So they weren't as popular. And the, you know, the price level of these machines was out of the reach of many folk living in the United Kingdom at the time. But it's it's big, it's sensortronic big. It's not sensortronic weight though, it's nowhere near as heavy as a sensortronic. Still quite a tank to pull along, but not as bad as a sensortronic, and it does of course have the swivel hose at the top, which makes it a bit more manoeuvrable. This Miele has a comprehensive range of cleaning tools stored inside the machine. So at the touch of a button we can see them. All brand new, pristine, never been touched, never been kissed, never seen a speck of dirt until now. This cleaner is going to fulfill its destiny. It's not going to stay unused. It's going to actually get some use. It's going to get some dirt inside. So I'll be using all these tools, including a nice length of crevice tool there. Miele's old style upholstery nozzle. Dusting brush with medium soft brushes. You can adjust it to different angles. And what Miele I believe call a radiator brush. Quite soft brushes there, and this radiator brush fits onto the end of your crevice tool, enabling you to go down the back of your radiators, get all the dust, dust bunnies, to help make your radiators more efficient. We need that. We can't have the heating on in the UK at the moment. Nobody can afford to put it on. But when we can afford to put it on, to have a nice clean dust-free radiator may help a bit with the heat output. So that's all the tools, and I'm going to be using them because I'm going to give my house a good thorough 
pre-Christmas clean with this machine. I don't think this machine will be as good on the carpets as an upright may be, but with all these tools, I'm sure I can get my curtains vacuumed, my nooks and crannies, the beds, the chairs, everywhere with the, all these cleaning tools. There's some writing on the underside of here. Let's see what it says. Now oh, it's just gobbledygook, I'm afraid. Just all sorts of numbers and things. I've no idea what it refers to. Now I do have one of the original bags in and while I'm still at my mother's, I'm gonna to have to use that original bag. But when I get home, I'm gonna swap it over for a more modern bag. I think this takes GN bags, I'm not sure. If you hear a funny groaning noise in the background, it's one of my mum's dogs. Don't know what she's doing. So this is a paper bag. Ooh, there's a bit of dirt in there just from that little bit of uh, vacuuming I've done. Mmm, this looks a single layered bag as well. So I have a feeling, I'm not 100% sure, but until I get home, because I've no GN bags here, but I have a feeling a GN bag may fit. Hopefully it does, because I'd rather use the seven layer filtration uh, of the uh, fleecy bags that Mila now produce, rather than this vintage paper one. Behind the paper bag, there is a filter. This won't have the same sort of filtration as a modern Mila. But we do have an air clean filter. Very similar material to the air clean filters you get now. So um, that's fine and dandy. And it goes on. I think it goes that way first. Yes, yes. So there's that. But this filter will stay a lot cleaner if I can fit a GN bag inside this vacuum. Pop that back. Oh, must go on there somehow. That's it. And there's a little sticker. What's that say? Actung. No. Important. Replace the Miele. What's that say? Something check filter approximately every five months. Or it's hard to read with this red on black or or once it has been heavily replace every every five months or once it has been heavily soiled, it says. There is a blow, a, a hole here. Can you fit the hose directly to that without an adapter? Let me just reach over, suck my belly in. Get the hose. I have a feeling. It's a while since I unboxed this, so it's sort of like experiencing it again. Oh, get out of the way, you. That's the thing with having so many vacuum cleaners, you, you don't know what you've got sometimes, and then it's really nice to sort of rediscover them. Oh, that's fine. Yes, look, we can use the Miele as a blower. So I'm assuming if I turn on now, And you know what, folks? I am going to use the blowing facility of this Miele because, like I was saying about the radiators, although it does have a radiator brush, I think the gap at the back of my radiators may be a bit narrow for that brush. So what I'm going to do, there we go, that's, that's the bag in place is fit the crevice tool to the end of a hose when I've got it at the blower thing and then I'm just going to blow out all the dust from behind all the radiators in my home and then of course I'll have to vacuum up the mess that blows out. I don't think they'll be terribly dirty but there will be dust behind. Mm, I might have a go at my mum's radiators. It's unlikely she'll have blown behind hers at all or even vacuumed behind them so um so good job i'm here with this lovely Miele. we've got a bag full indicator i don't know if that's going to work but it should do i don't know if that i don't know if it moves when i block the end off i'll have a look um that will turn red and i've just noticed oh 
I've just noticed a maximum 100 watt power takeoff socket somewhere at home. I do have a Miele power nozzle. I'm not sure if it was a new one or used one, but that'll be good. If I can use this with a power nozzle, then I can get, you know, deeper cleaned carpets than I'd get with a standard nozzle or the turbo. Oh, I'd forgotten all about that. Also, I'm more excited, even more excited now about using this. On the underside, we've got the, well, we've got the wheels. Oh, they're nice. They're nice wheels, folks. Got a bit of a tire. And of course, we've got a swivel caster. Nice smooth running again. Let's have a quick look at the rating sticker. Miele made in West Germany. So I assume this was made before the Berlin Wall came down. There's a lot of numbers here. 2195244 type 3240i-06, 240 volts, 40 to 60 hertz, 1000 watt vacuum cleaner, 1100 watts with electric brush. Here's the control panel with a foot operated on off switch, foot operated automatic cord rewind and a finger operated you might be able to operate that with your foot i suppose if you've got nice uh, pointed stilettos on you might be able to use that this is a little wheel to control the motor speed suction power so you can see you can set it at maximum a thousand watts and then you rotate 750 it's all very mechanical isn't it then 550 then 350 and then automatic where the Miele will adjust automatically according to the surface you're cleaning. So this is the hose end. It does swivel at the hose and handle end. And of course it swivels when it's actually in the machine. It just clicks into place. It does leak a bit of air, I noticed. So it's not completely sealed, but it swivels very nicely. And there's a little button you press when you want to take the hose off and it's got a pretty standard handle there's a suction control there it's a bit stiff but i suppose that'll loosen up i don't think i'll be using the manual suction vent i'd rather use the suction settings on the machine and this i think i've mentioned this it was either in the unboxing video of this or another mealer i believe that's a little hook enabling you to hang up the hose it does move along so you know you could move it into the middle and hang the hose up on a hook in your cupboard and i'll just i'll just push it back up there out of the way i think that's what that's for i've got the instruction book as well and the original box upstairs and then we've got one do these are all friction fit we don't have the miele click system yet and a bit of a different telescopic one you have to turn this middle piece to loosen and then you can move it's a bit scrapey you can move it up and down and then I had oh, that's it I had trouble getting this tightened before I showed you it but there we go you have to pull it up and then twist to tighten and then here's the standard floor head very handsome looking head isn't it let's take it off the tube nice Mueller branding a little bit of a rubber strip at the front Sort of a bumper strip, I suppose that is. Oh, we've picked up some hair. Look, this once new in the box vacuum is no longer new in the box. So that's the brush down for hard floor. And then the brush up for carpet, lovely metal base plate, side suction, little roller wheel. Oh, it's all so quality, this. I'm pretty sure that comes yes you can take that out I won't do it now but I'm pretty sure that enables you to remove the roller wheel if you get hairs wrapped around it which it will do after a while litter pickers so yes well let's, uh, let's have a look at the old turbo head actually let's see if that works I can hear a dog coming in she's oh she's being a naughty dog this one what are you doing she'll probably run off when I switch this vacuum on you can't see her Evie? Oh, she's, she's just run off. 
These poor dogs at my mother's, mother's house, they don't know what vacuums are. They're not used to them like Daisy. Right, let's switch up. Are you? What are you doing, dog? seems to to go quite fast there's a little pedal on these you can press it with your foot to release it from the wand I did start it off on auto but it was you know kept adjusting the suction so I think the turbo head is best used on max you need to press down on that thing and put it am I putting it in the right way no I'm not that's why it's not going in there we go it is a bit scrapey though Ooh. It's gonna it's going to damage the bottom of this wand the way that this fits on it sort of has um, a little metal ring and that's that's going to cause a mark on on there but you know okay so uh, I wanted to use this vacuum okay let's uh, see what it's like on my mother's carpet Dear, another dog running for dear life but uh, Molly and Daisy are still on the sofa I think they've gone deaf actually with all the that Daisy certainly has gone deaf through sitting through so many vacuum cleaner videos so she was never bothered about them and she still isn't Molly Molly slept through it as well but uh, Harry's just run off as so is Evie but there you go that's vacuum of the month finally for November the Miele Automatic S240i Air Clean. Well, there you go, folks. Second time lucky. This Miele is Vacuum of the Month for November 2022. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy using this machine far more than I would have enjoyed using that Vax Edge cordless upright without the batteries so tune in on the 1st of december can you believe it <laughs> tune in in four weeks on the 1st of december and you'll see my last vacuum of the month for 2022 and i'll be telling you how i got on using this vintage machine for the month of november so until then thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe thumb up and i'll see you all very soon for the next video Bye for now.